Joji is making a return to comedy with Dracula Flow, a series of songs released by his company Plum Records. We smoking runts. Shorty got a BBL, took that shit out because she couldn't run. So far, three have been posted. The first aptly named Dracula Flow on the 24th of April this year, then Dracula Flow 2 on the 30th of May, then Dracula Flow 3 on the 31st of July. All three iterations have received thousands of mutations as memes and continue to induce heavy attention to this date. Their ridiculous lyrics provide chaotic yet sublime tracks, truly earning the name of Dracula Flow. And as the great John Sedano says, the next time someone says Americans have no culture, just show them this. It's seriously that good, and it's a return to the weirdo humor Joji embodied during his filthy Frank era, and just goes to show that whilst he's instigated a total rebrand for his music career, he's still got what it takes to support the creation of absurd lo-fi memes. Plum Records is sort of like a pet project for Joji, as he promotes it during his live shows and it often has extremely unhinged content. I highly recommend subscribing. Whilst I haven't seen Joji make an appearance in any of these clips, you can easily tell the DNA of his work is thoroughly embedded in the cinematic techniques utilized in each skit. Smash cuts, chaotic zooms, and a lot of screaming make for excellent entertainment. Whilst many love Joji for his music career, and some aren't even aware of his past as a famous YouTuber, it's quite clear he's happy to put others in the spotlight in order to continue with that bizarre sense of humor that made old characters such as Filthy Frank so compelling. This is why it's so exciting to see such a spectacular return to form, as Dracula Flow has become a beast unto itself, even without many of its audience members understanding that it was created by someone they may have loved in the past. On that note, Joji must be commended for achieving what many YouTubers set out to do but ultimately fail. He began a music career that has sustained him completely independently of his prior works. YouTubers such as Dream have long been attempting the same process with little success, although to be fair, there are some who do moderately well but never seem to completely detach from their YouTube roots. This is why Dracula Flow is so impressive. It's the legacy creation of a man who went absolutely stratospheric with his popularity thanks to ridiculous and insane content, which converted to serious and brilliant music, which paved the way to yet more ridiculous and insane content, all without many millions who love it understanding who made it. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>